We're looking here at a large assortment, a collection uh, related to Charles Dickens. Um, it's being offered as one large lot, and we'll start with this 19th century, 1868 uh, pamphlet. Then we'll move to this Jesse Wilcox Smith, a very famous illustrator, 1912 inscription there. This is 1912, and here we see like so, and so, color plates here. Then we've got these periodicals, which uh, are interesting. Uh, there's four different ones. They're all uh, early 20th century uh, from the 30s. Um, you know, just very interesting uh, for the Dickens collector. Then there is, for instance, this massive book here with a gilt uh, oval pictorial of Charles Dickens on the spine. And we see here uh, frontis, this is 1883, sold only by subscription. It's an encyclopedia of Dickens with uh, illustrations throughout. This is a nice book. It's uh, useful. It's, it's fascinating, really. There's uh, endless, well, it's an encyclopedia, basically. Uh, then we've got The Real Dickens Land, another very heavy monumental book. Uh, and this is... Uh, oh, there's a nice engraved uh, frontis, uh, and here we see 1904, uh, and this is photographs uh, taken from around uh, uh, London and England and uh, areas that pertain to the stories and life of Charles Dickens. Wonderful book, uh, really. Slightly shaken, a little bit worn, but still nice. And then we've got these two books here, which are, again, 19th century and decorative bindings. These are uh, probably 1870s or 80s by Collier. They are, uh, each book contains uh, different stories by Dickens, which are complete. Uh, and there are also illustrations throughout, like so, full page illustrations for this, many of the stories, all the stories. And uh, then next we've got this mid-19th century cloth-bound early edition uh, of Our Mutual Friend with 42 illustrations uh, by Marcus Stone. This is Philadelphia by Peterson, 1865, so Civil War era. And again, we see illustrations throughout. Then we've got these two. Uh, Dickens works. This is complete, A Tale of Two Cities, and this is another volume. Uh, different publishers, different binding styles, different color cloths, different eras is what we're looking at in this collection. This is 1871 illustrated book. This one here in this blue cloth is 1869 Boston. Uh, a little bit rough shape. Clearly it's been read this is a good example of the popularity of Dickens. And that leaves us now with uh, these various uh, two-volume works and one-volume works uh, that are complete unto themselves. For instance, this, they're all in this nice pebble cloth that is blind stamped by it like so. This is very nice. There's an early doctor's personal uh, blind stamp to the end paper. And uh, these actually have steel engraved uh, half titles. Um, and as you can see, clean, tight, and sound. These are, uh, here's Oliver Twist. We're looking at Oliver Twist here. And these are odd volumes from a much, mo most Dickens uh, books like this from the 19th century were often issued in long monumental sets. So, you know, what you find often are individual, standalone, complete uh, stories by themselves, like so. We've got Christmas books, Pickwick Papers, Bleak House, David Copperfield, and Dombey and Son. These are all complete novels uh, unto themselves. And so this entire lot uh, is available uh, online from me, Brian DeMambro.